And number two, um, I hear a lot about TikTok. Should I be on that? So chiropractors uh, in general, um, I think are doing very little when it comes to content creation. And, but it's easy to like see your friends or hear other people talk about um, new exciting things. And it seems like, you know, like it's the flashy um, object syndrome. Um, and TikTok is, you know, is great. You could, you can get lots of organic reach there. Um, there's lots of people interacting. It's, it's a young audience, but you know, there's more and more, I, I feel like with these, um, with these platforms that, that take off faster, they age up a lot faster than they used to. So something that used to, um, you know, maybe five years ago, TikTok would have stayed, you know, 15 and under for, for years before adults ruined it. But, uh, but it, that's happening at a rapid rate. So um, it's not that it's not valuable. It's just that the only way that you should have a TikTok account is, is if you're just like maxed out on everything else. Like if you are not maximizing Facebook, if you're not maximizing um, Instagram, if you're not maximizing Google and YouTube, then you have no time for TikTok. Like you need to maximize those things before you start spreading yourself thin or distracting yourself um, with a TikTok account. So um, not that you, you might see some people that are, there, there are certain people that, and this is, you know, just content creation in general. There are some people that are just like naturally good at it. They just love it. Um, they can document their lives really well. Maybe they're smart or funny or um, they can, you know, like a certain platform, you know, with TikTok, it's really short, like snackable pieces of content. Um, maybe they're really great at that. Other people are maybe better at long form content, like a, like a podcast. But um, so if you see somebody who's just like crushing it on TikTok, don't just go running after like, oh, now I have to, it, like TikTok's not the reason why they're crushing it. It's probably because they've spent a bunch of time. They really understand it. They spend like they're consuming content on there. So unless you're, unless you're like just naturally attracted to it, I, I would just like completely ignore it. Um, and then if it, you know, if it blows up into like, I still think even like Instagram is, is hard for, for most chiropractors to, um, to, to really like see a return of, of investment on their time and money. Um, just because most of them just aren't that good at, at the way that you should be doing uh, Instagram. So Facebook is where the majority of your new patients are. Google is where they're, or I'm sorry, the majority of your ideal patients are. Google is where they're um, spending their time. I'm not spending their time looking for answers. Um, YouTube is where they're consuming, you know, video content. So those are really the three that I think are the, um, and YouTube like kind of like a distant third, but like Google and Facebook are really, the major drivers of, of where you're going to see your, your business growth. But if you're, you know, uh, if you're like naturally good, like if you like Instagram and you can create a following there, that's great. And TikTok's the same way, but, um, Instagram is definitely, I think, uh, more important than TikTok for a chiropractor right now, but those would be my three, um, or my four would be, uh, Facebook, Google, YouTube, and Instagram. All right. Um, let's see.